Let's go. I think people are perverts. Men det der bare er sandt, at, at den opstilling har Jim stået her og mindet mig om Bergman og hans køk også. At køkken var et stort problem for ham, fordi han var stadig kort som ind i helvede. Og han blev ældre og ældre og ældre og ældre. Så vi må da gå ud fra, at der har siddet en gammel bærmand, Og jeg vil meget gerne have, at du tager det her med i programmet. Der har siddet en gammel bærmand og masturberet som en sindesyke ude på forø, i forø i hans kloster. I midten af magten over det svenske kulturliv har der siddet en gammel idiot og, og, og runkert som en sindesyke. Okay, I'm a Nazi. So to try to do things on a greater scale. I'm so depressed, I don't know what I'm doing. Fucking telephone. Get real. It's suicidal, but in a kind of blackly comic kind of way, and he's only kind of sticking around for her, so he's a bit like a ghost in his own life. Um... Uh, sorry, I don't speak Italian. How's Michael Bay to work with? You know, it's like looking into the mind of madness and then having it tell you, like, move out of my way. I'm trying to get this shot. Working with him when he's on set, he's very specific. So he's... Put that down. What's going on here? What are you doing? What are you doing? Can you, can you not talk to me? Just for, uh, just for the... What are you... The negative reaction mostly came from male film critics don't like watching a young pretty girl with someone with a dick erected next to her. Jar Jar is a key to all this. If we get Jar Jar working, because he's a funnier character than we've ever had in any of the movies. A fucking grown-up! Act like a grown-up! You're not a baby! You're a fucking grown-up! I'm here to fucking help you! That's all I was doing, I was trying to help you! Here are some details of my new, very entertaining and visionary film. Hi, thanks for checking out my crowdfunding site. My name is Neil Breen. I'm a filmmaker. Pass Through is unique in that it's a sci-fi, a sci science fiction drama. It is not a midnight movie. It's a legitimate, mainstream, full-length feature film. It's very, very entertaining. It's somewhat controversial. It's certainly thought-provoking. Somewhat rebellious. <laughs> I uh, let out about one second of piss. If people didn't smoke, there would be no employment for the youth of today. So once again, no smoking in this theater. <laughs> I was also, you know, 17 years old, so I was completely immersed in watching porno, mm -hmm. you know, in a kind of, in a kind of horny young boy way, mm -hmm. but also in like a sort of, in like a filmmaker way. We have a juicy. Here. Mm -hmm. and, you know, Deep Throat was the highest grossing independent film. In other world cinemas. Mm -hmm. You know what, I want to get my slice Get your pizza. pizza, man. Sorry. I just want to get one. Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay. This would be a taco. Once I took this kid sailing, and his name was Barfunk, and I, and I capsized the sailboat, uh -huh. and, he, and he almost drowned. You know, I just wanted to make a sequel to Caddyshack, uh -huh. and um, for some reason, and, and then, I used to live by this guy, and he was a Hasidic um, Jewish, and he played the basket, and he always played with basketballs, and he also, his father was a dentist. But once I was walking down the street, and he said, you're a sinner, like that. Said that to you, yeah. So I just wrote it. I, had this, I knew yeah. this one guy from Delaware. I knew this one guy, and he, and he, um, he's pretty cool. He, um, he used to have one of those, like, big platforms on his foot, you know, like, a, for extra big shoe, and he got a shish kebab skewer stuck through both his ass cheeks. You were 19 years old, and, yeah. and how do you get it turned in from a script? How do you get it turned into a, a motion picture? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah.